Upon my exile from the restored laboratory, the surface seemed peaceful and abandoned. The door sealed shut behind me. My efforts to unlock it proved futile, even using the scorched cube I had been left with. Hoping to put the experience behind me, I ventured out into the wilderness, alone. The weed field that surrounded the inconspicuous shed spanned some twenty miles, before dusty wasteland took over entirely. When I finally left the range of the lab's wireless systems, my heads-up display crashed from the disconnect. Upon reconfiguring it, I soon discovered why the wheat field ended. Radiation bathed the area in a deadly miasma. I walked for days before I encountered the first sign of civilization. A broken and cracked road traveling into the distance. It quickly became clear that in the time I had slept under Wheatley's supervision, the Redmakers had finally obliterated themselves. Sadly, they did not finish the job. As I came to learn from the survivors and documentation that survived the nuclear fallout, vast underground complexes had been constructed to contain and safeguard the human species until the surface was habitable once again. Hoping to find information regarding the condition of the Never, I carried Fail with a shipping merchant, who offered me a job with the incentive that it might lead me to what I sought. I was to carry a platinum gambling chip to the nearby ruined city of New Vegas. Like all things set upon me by Red Makers, the job did not go according to plan. You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. The truth is, the game was rigged from the start. I regained consciousness beside the Redmaker physician, Dr. Mitchell, in a small town known as Good Springs. He had repaired what he could of my injuries and granted me a stock of supplies suggesting that I talk to the local saloon owner for clues to my situation. <laughs> 